Hi, it's Lenneke from Lens Crafty Life and I'm so excited. I received these beautiful, over a hundred and years old lettuce today. And yes, I did make them straight away into digitals and they are already up in my Etsy shop. So click out the link below if you're interested. I just could not wait. I was so impressed with these. So I will show them to you one by one a bit more careful. But it's they are just absolutely stunning. Now the oldest ones of uh, that's in this batch uh, so there's seven in all, and the oldest one is from 1881, January 1881, it says. And these are in Dutch. They are letters um, uh, that were given or sent to loved ones and friends at uh, New Year. So, you know, around the turn of the year. So these are all New Year's wishes. This one, it says, Lieve Grootmoe. It says that is Dear Grandma in Dutch. And these papers are all embossed as well. I, you, you probably can't see it. It's not, you know, but it is raised. So they are gorgeous, really, really pretty. Now, and the wishes, the way they wrote it, and it's written on here, it's like in a rhyme, it um, it it rhymes um, on here. Well, I, it's it's a bit hard to read. Even this is, I think, this is by a a young child. Yeah, Ulif uh, Heben a Kaysian. So this is by Kaysian. That's an S. That's an old way of writing an S. It almost looks like an F, but it's an S. So these are really really old. So here it is Grootmoe, like Grandma. And in this one, there's not written on the back, but you may be able to see the embossing on this side. I think you can. So what I did making these papers is I, I gave you the backs as well. I printed literally everything in here. So um, let me just show you them first. So these small ones, there's two small ones in there. I printed this, the front, and I printed the whole back. Like even with this one, you can see the embossing much better. So I didn't want to keep that from you. And the way I made the files is that they are um, exactly right. When you print this one, then you can print this one straight away. The way the file is, I, I made the files, is it should work perfectly. I've tried it out many times and uh, it should work. So here you go. Let me just show them. Like this one is with gold on it. That is just so stunning. Look at this. And this is Dear Father, Lieve Father, it says. And these are all New Year's wishes. So what they sometimes did is they just, uh, you know, wrote on the front and the back and not in the middle. And you can probably hear my little doggy, a little paws on the wooden floor. And this one again is with gold. And just look at this. Look at these little doves here and the, the dainty, you know, the flowers there. And this is actually stuck on. It's like a, what we would call a poesy plaatje. Yeah? Um, not sure what you call them, but it's really old. This one is from the 1st of January in 1916. So indeed, they did write this. I'm learning as I go here. You know, straight away after the turn of the year. And this one is directed at dear uncle and aunt. My lieve oom and tante. And this one, there is some writing in the middle as well. And you can see it's like in a rhyme. You know, there's this one, this one, and this one. All four sentences and they rhyme. Dag en mag, verschoond, beloond, jaar, elkaar. So that's all Dutch, yes. <laughs> so what I did, even with these larger ones, you get the four pages. Even though nothing is printed at the back. I did want to include it because of the colouring and the discolouring, which makes it very, very vintagey. So, all the original staining. So, you get the front, you get the back with the, again, on this one, 
you can see the embossing which is great so even these pages are beautiful to use in your journals even without the writing so and then you get this page and you get this page as well so you can print it on the back as well now that counts for all of these just look at these on they absolutely stunning this is the first of january 1915 again there is some gorgeous embossing on here i hope the camera picks that up well i hope it does i can't see properly and here around here is embossing too and a lot of staining yes but you get the stains as well <laughs> And here at the back, you can see, now oh, will it pick it up? I think you can just about see the embossing. Now, in the files that I made, you can see the embossing very clearly. So that's why I did want to give you those as well. This again to Aunt of Uncle and Aunt. And, you know, on this page, it's bled through. The ink is bled through, which again is a nice effect. So this page is in there as well and you can all print them front and back now this one is just absolutely stunning this is to dear parents leave ouders this one is actually from a place where i live quite near the moment Zwolle in the netherlands the first of january 1886 and this has been written by your darling son jan or your loving son jan and this again is like a stuck on image. You can even kind of see, you know, there's something on there. But this is the way I copied it. Now this one again is plain, meaning it is discolored. Again, some of the writing that has bled through and the back. Now this one, I just printed the front and this back. <coughs> And here is another one. Oh, don't you love, love, love this one? Now, this one is embossed and it has the gold on there. Hope you can see that. It's shining. And this gorgeous, gorgeous image of this uh, of this card. And this is these are images that have been stuck on. So it's really beautiful. I don't know who made that painting, but... It's stunning, like even with the dew drop on there. This one is from Zwolle. Again, the place that is quite close to me. The 1st of January, 1919. Now this again. Oh yeah, you can probably uh, see. It's this beautiful page with embossing. I hope it picks it up. So, you can, so even this page you could use in a journal and you can use it like so even you know so multiple things you can do with this kit the writing this is by your loving cousin Jan Jan is John the Dutch John and lastly this one is like um, uh, I think it's probably uh, a Catholic one with Mary and Jesus being baptized here and here is a very pretty little flower so here you can clearly see that these have been stuck on again there is a lot of embossing going on here hope it picks that up and this one is directed at your waarde um, moeder oh, how do you call that uh, it's not the right word sorry i'm i'm i am christian i'm not catholic <laughs> Waarde moeder, reverend mother, is that what you call it? Um, thinking hard now of uh, the sound of music. Love that musical. What did she call the, uh, the the mother in the in the convent? I'm not sure. So anyway, and there is a lot written on here, and again, it's all in these rhymes. And here as well, so a lot of writing on this one. Seventeenth December, eighteen eighty. It says over here and again you can see the embossing also on this side I hope you can see that and then here's the back and the back has bled through again a bit so let me show you the actual papers that I made so these are the originals so I just put them to one side 
and then these are the ones that I made, the printed out versions. So this is the one with the roses. So these are uh, on A4. And you can see here that you can very clearly see the embossing, which is absolutely stunning. Even this will be like if you want it in a journal like that, you could use this like so as a journal page. Wouldn't that be beautiful? And then you get, so this is a set, you get this together. This is the one letter. And then this is a letter with the rose because there wasn't anything on the other pages. I printed just this one and just one page to go on the back. This is the one with the little boat from 1915. A lot of the embossing you can see. And again, you can see the embossing here on the back very clearly. So this is the other letter. This is where you see kind of the uh, the bled through, but I thought it was really cool because you can print this back to back and even these would look great like in the tall skinny journals, like especially this one because you can fold it like so or like so, you know, pop it in. You get the, uh, the little birdies on one side, this on the middle and the flowers on the other side of the page. So... And here again, you see the embossing. Now the staining is original. I didn't make any extra stains that is in there. It's here on the back. Here, you see, you see that stain? So it is on the original. So you get the stain for free. <laughs> it's just the way it is. It's all original. I. Uh, I did resize, you know, uh, I didn't even resize it. I just scanned them just the way they are. So I just wanted to uh, have them really original. I, personally, I like the staining. Here again, beautiful, the embossing. You can see that very clearly on these prints all the way around here. This is the one of 1880. And so there is the two smaller ones. That are like an A5 size and you can cut them out so again so this is what I mean with the files I made them the way that when you print them like this one was smaller than a full page and this one so this one prints to the left of your page and this one then obviously prints to the right of your page so you can just cut this off the strip and it prints at the exact right spot front and back if you get what I mean. <laughs> Hope you do. And this is the other one with the flowers. And again, front and back. And here the embossing. You can see that very beautifully. And then this one I printed double to show you what it looks like when you cut it out. So just like the real, so this is a real original size of the letter. This one has, was not written anything in the middle, but you do get a lovely embossing on that one page. Plenty of space for journaling on this one. And this one I printed out smaller. And, and so that is the other small one, which makes like a little booklet. You can of course add extra pages, wouldn't this be? A massively cute little booklet to add to your journals. Again, this one's only uh, had writing on the front and on the back and nothing in the middle. But like this crease is original. It's at the front as well. That's a crease of the paper. So I am absolutely delighted with these papers. Can't wait to uh, put them in journals and craft with them. So do just... Um, check out my Etsy shop. I recently put in some other very pretty journal papers. I think I've got them here. Yeah, that's... Uh, let me show you. That's this one with old script. That's a beautiful kit as well. So, and different. You get a front like, but in uh, four different colors. 
So check out that as well if you haven't seen it yet. And I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching and have fun crafting. Bye-bye.